in this lesson we will discuss multiplication of matrices and transpose of matrices the question is for the matrices a b c c3 matrices are given we have to verify or means we have to prove that a b whole transpose t represents transpose equal to b transpose a transpose or simply we can say we have to prove that left hand side equal to right hand side right okay so there is a difference between the right hand side and the left hand side on the left hand side we have a b then parenthesis transpose means a b whole transpose while on the other hand on right side right hand side we have b transpose as well as a transpose so here first we have to take the transpose of b then transpose of a then we will multiply but on the left hand side first we multiply a and b then we will take the transpose of it so i will show it here we will start from the left hand side in left hand side see first is the parenthesis so we will make the parenthesis then a see what is a a is minus 1 these are the elements of a and then we have to write down the b matrix and the elements of b matrix are 1 2 negative 3 and negative 5 and then close and this is the parenthesis and then transpose do not forget this transpose a b see there is no sign between a and b there is no plus there is no negative it means there is multiplication between a and b and if i put dot it also means multiplication right so we will start the multiplication in the same way first of all we have to see whether these two are conformable for multiplication or not so there are two columns of the first matrix and two rows of the second matrix so number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix it means these two matrices are conformable for multiplication we will start from here negative 1 c 1 1 if you do not know how to multiply please watch my other videos we have discussed in detail how to multiply and then row this first this row with this column then same row with the second column right here negative 1 multiply by 2 always we have to use the sign of positive and then 3 multiply by negative 5 and then parenthesis close do not forget this transpose here 2 multiply by 1 and then 0 multiply by this here is same second row multiply by first column of the second matrix plus 0 multiply by negative 3 okay so 0 1 0 3 then 0 2 so see you should be very very careful when we will do this multiplication so 2 multiply by 2 and then positive 0 multiply by negative this then we will simplify it it will be negative 1 negative 9 2 1 time 2 plus 0 and then here we have uh, negative 2 negative 15 right and then we have 4 plus 0 do not forget this transpose and here we have negative 10 2 17 and 4 and again transpose okay now if you forget transpose i will show you one more time it's very easy i will write down here this is the transpose of the left hand side this portion we are discussing this portion first right so this is the row minus 10 and negative 17 is a row make it column make it column similarly 2 and 4 is the row make it column 2 and 4 
this is the right uh, sorry left hand side we will write down a and this is called the transpose convert rows into columns and now there is no need for write down transpose because we already have taken the transpose here okay now we are solving this b transpose a transpose so right hand side it should be equal to this this matrix this one right okay we will see b transpose a transpose here first we have to take the transpose so what is b 1 2 negative 3 negative 5 transpose and a is negative 1 3 2 and 0 transpose okay so transpose is this is first row make it column this is the second row make it another column this is the first row make it column and this is the second row make it column this is the transpose of b this is the transpose of a now do not need to write down this t t because we already have taken now is the multiplication we will start multiplication okay i will start from here okay so i want to erase this and then we will start the multiplication So same thing, first row with first column, negative 1 and then plus sign you have to use, then negative 3 with 3, right? And if still any point is not clear, please do not hesitate to ask me. I will try my best to solve it, but everything, each and every point should be clear negative 1 positive minus 5 multiply by 3 and here is 2 multiply by 2 positive minus 5 and 0 so this is negative 1 negative 9 and this is uh, negative 2 negative 15 here we have 2 plus 0 and 4 plus 0 so see negative 10 negative 17 here is 2 and this is 4 so this is right hand side now we will see this is also called right hand side or b right this is a so we will say okay this is b or if it is right left hand side this is the right hand side both are equal minus 10 2 minus 17 4 negative 10 2 negative 17 4 it means we have proved that a b whole transpose equal to b transpose a transpose one more time i will explain to you there is a difference this is a b whole transpose first you have to multiply then at the end you have to take the transpose here you have to take the transpose first and then you have to multiply both should be equal left hand side should be equal to the right hand side it means that we have proved and transpose means whatever rows you have convert rows into columns is called the transpose move on to the second question this is for you right same thing instead of a and b we have b and c whole transpose right in this way you will learn more you have to solve this question b c write down b c then multiply these two matrices follow the same step whatever we did in question number one at the end you have to take the transpose then c transpose and b transpose you have to prove the right hand side here here i will give you the hint c transpose means this is c so transpose of c is this is the row you have to make this to column and then b transpose okay first you have to write down c 
and then B. Do not change the position that here you are writing B transpose and now C. No. If C is first, you have to write down C. B and then B. This is 1, 2. So make it 1, 2. Make it column. It is row. So make this second row into column. This is the B transpose. This one. So here I will write down B transpose. C transpose, B transpose. Then you have to multiply right and whatever the answer will be right hand side it should be equal to the b c whole transpose if when you will solve it if suppose you cannot solve the problem if you have any difficulty without hesitation you can ask me and i will solve this question for you but when you will involve in involve then you will learn more and the third is same a b whole transpose b transpose a transpose, uh, transpose first you have to solve a b then you have to take the transpose and here you have to take individually first B transpose, A transpose and then you have to solve it. Right? But please do not forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Sci My Academy and thanks for watching.